Hello YouTube, this is Dracus360. I'm technically recording this on March 16th, but we'll be uploading this tomorrow on March 17th. Yes, that's St. Patrick's Day, but anyone with a cursory knowledge of this channel's history will know that that date has a secondary significance for the channel. More on that later. If my voice sounds quieter or more subdued, it's because I'm not sure if my neighbors are home, sleeping, or working, and I want to keep my volume at a relative low. And as I've done before in some previous update videos, I'm reading off of a script I've written for myself. I wrote it to avoid rambling, but I didn't want to do a script at first. I always felt this made updates feel impersonal and distant, as opposed to just speaking stream of consciousness from the heart without any script. The fact is, speaking off the cuff simply isn't something I'm very good at, and I suspect it's just unpleasant to listen to. It's also an inefficient way to say all that I want to say in the least amount of your time. So if my reading off of a script does feel impersonal, know that for an update video it was the least worst option in my view. So I simply don't know how many people are still watching this channel. The subscriber count has floated pleasantly at a little over a thousand, but very few of those thousand I suspect are regular watchers. For the subscribers who do actively watch, I know I haven't given you much reason to. This video is the only public video I've released in a year. And then, one year ago, I was simply offering another update video. So I'm grateful to anyone and everyone still sticking around for this one. Right now, this channel's main preoccupation is an upcoming video series titled Where We Cannot Go. I've explained what this series will be in previous updates, but with each new update video, I make the old update videos unlisted to make way for the most current. So on the off chance newcomers are watching this, here's a lowdown on Where We Cannot Go. Where We Cannot Go is set to be a video series about Lego toys set in the universe of my channel's first series, What We Cannot See. What We Cannot See itself was a long and often troubled series about a world of living Lego toys fighting for control over a human house without any apparent human owners. Where We Cannot Go takes place sometime after the end of What We Cannot See, but is designed so that those unfamiliar with What We Cannot See can still access the new story of Where We Cannot Go. While I don't want to talk too much about the actual plot, Where We Cannot Go's story will explore lingering mysteries left unanswered by What We Cannot See, and will take its characters far beyond the original setting of What We Cannot See. Where We Cannot Go is also the first time I've truly collaborated with other people on a creative project of this sort, chief among them my friend Supershadow271, who has helped me tremendously with the story creation and script editing processes. Herein lies the significance of March 17th. On March 17th, 2008, I uploaded the first episode of What We Cannot See to YouTube. If anyone who grew up watching What We Cannot See is listening to this today, you know how personal What We Cannot See was for me. It's a big reason I have any audience at all. But I have to say that I've also struggled with it. One can watch through all of What We Cannot See and detect behind the camera a pretty troubled kid taking out his frustrations of the day on his Lego toys, occupying a very lonely district of the internet. It's some of my behavior in what we cannot see that makes me reluctant to keep the videos public. Currently, they are all unlisted in playlists that are publicly available on my channel. This was originally done so longtime fans could have a place to access and rewatch the videos, but also to discourage newcomers from finding the series. It is some sort of irony that now I am actively trying to bring new audiences to the universe of what we cannot see with where we cannot go. I haven't made the videos of what we cannot see public yet. I'm not sure that's something I want to do. I have, however, noticed that at least one episode of What We Cannot See has been taken down because YouTube noticed a song in it, leading to a copyright strike. I guess that's just the standards of 2019 being applied to videos of 2008. And honestly, I expect this to continue. There may yet be more episodes of What We Cannot See that get taken down in the future. So to any fans of What We Cannot See who might be watching this, I have all of the old episodes archived and can send you anything you might be missing on YouTube. All you need to do is send me a contact email and I can find a way to get them to you. Comments on any of my videos indicating your interest in obtaining lost episodes of what we cannot see are good ways of contacting me for the time being. Additionally, the little website I previously used to house canon and lore related stuff relating to what we cannot see appears to have been taken down too. Contained on that website was a timeline of the what we cannot see canon chronology, which I still have archived. I have thought about building a new website which would contain download links to all episodes of What We Cannot See, separated and hopefully protected from YouTube's copyright regime, so that's a possibility for the near future. Last year, Where We Cannot Go was not ready. This year, it still isn't ready. 
The intention with Where We Cannot Go is to release the episodes on a weekly basis once the full series has been made. This means planning, writing, building props for, and filming all projected 15 episodes, doing all editing involved with that, and preparing the entire package before releasing. And that task has simply ambushed me with its scale. As I see it, Where We Cannot Go is conceptually juggling many things. It is technically a sequel, but isn't being presented as such. It is, in being a de facto sequel, continuing a story that was at one time a decidedly concluded narrative that I had no intention of adding to. When asking old fans about their thoughts on continuing what we cannot see, many told me they liked the ending of season three and didn't think a sequel was necessary. Even if just one of those people is still actively watching this channel, that's enough for me to take the addition of where we cannot go to the story very seriously and to make sure its expansion isn't frivolous, but substantive, and meaningful. Where We Cannot Go is also conforming with the lore, history, and universe set forth in What We Cannot See, but is being constructed largely with a new audience in mind. When I was first making What We Cannot See, I didn't expect to add new seasons to the story. As I chose to add new seasons, there were moments when I hadn't taken diligent notes of lore that I had established in the first season, and keen-eyed viewers were quick to notice story inconsistencies in the newer seasons. This was particularly true with the first season of the Pioneers storyline, declaring many things about the universe that contradicted what had been ostensibly established in season one of the main story. Those inconsistencies were more a result of my own note-taking errors and omissions than deliberate story decisions. At some point, I chose to bite the bullet, except that I had retconned some universe details set forth in what we cannot see season one, and commit to the new canon I was establishing henceforth. In short, the canon that was adhered to in the final season of What We Cannot See, that is, season three, can be seen as the official canon of the whole story, and will be the canon going into Where We Cannot Go. But making sure I don't repeat my mistakes of retconning in Pioneers again in making Where We Cannot Go has also made the writing of Where We Cannot Go quite a task. And finally, Where We Cannot Go aims to offer a decidedly different tone and structure than What We Cannot See while also striving to preserve the things about what we cannot see that people appear to like. This includes the handful of returning characters from what we cannot see's past, who feature prominently in this new story. We have to make sure that those returning characters are as true to their old selves as possible, retaining their most important virtues and vices, while also giving them new and meaningful arcs that force them through new change. This includes four characters who are receiving slight name changes. I've revealed two of those name changes so far, the other two I'm keeping hidden until release. I've said it before, but the reason I'm doing this is because some characters introduced in What We Cannot See Season 1 actually share names with real characters in the official Bionicle canon, but have no other personality similarities beyond that. So the name changes are so that we can take greater ownership of these What We Cannot See characters and further flesh out their identities, as distinct from their Bionicle universe counterparts. All these are challenges baked into the premise of Where We Cannot Go itself, and they've added to the workload, to the revision process, and extended the project far beyond the original expected date of completion. And yet, I haven't lost faith in it. Every time I felt Where We Cannot Go couldn't be completed, after returning to it the next day with fresh eyes, my doubts quickly vanished. Now, I don't want to hype Where We Cannot Go up. When it's ready, I want you all to judge it on its merits. But if this video communicates one thing today, let it be that I'm still here, I'm still in this game, and I still intend on finishing where we cannot go. Don't let my silence or inactivity on this channel persuade you otherwise. I've not wanted to reveal too much about my own personal life on this channel. Suffice it to say, if where we cannot go was the only project in my life, odds are it would have been done long ago. But it simply isn't. And many of the delays in getting where we cannot go to you all are attributable to circumstances in my own life. At this point, I can only ask for your continued patience and understanding for any of you who are still watching. And that is the relative end of the scripted part of this video. Now, previously I said I don't like or I don't think I'm competent at stream of consciousness, off the cuff speaking. But I thought it would be okay for this last bit. There's something that um, hasn't gone uh, acknowledged on this channel, and it's, I mean, it's a minor point, but maybe some people have noticed it, and it's worth discussing, I guess, in the now that I've got your attention, if you're still around. Um, so, 
Previously, I had uploaded a video uh, showing my face on YouTube, and uh, it was a brief update video. It was kind of an addendum to the pre preceding update video uh, for that video, but I took it down very quickly. Uh, there were there were some reasons, many reasons I took it down. The first reason was at the time I was doing a project completely unrelated to YouTube, Jackass 360, or you know what we cannot see, th that made me not want to have my face out in public. I did not want to have my identity visible uh, for the world while I was doing this project. Now that project has since finished; that's completed. So I guess in some sense I'm less restricted when showing my face, but I still don't want to. And another reason I took that video down is because I just felt that, I don't know, I, I, I acted. Maybe it was the fact that I was filming myself for the first time and I'm not used to that. Maybe it was the fact that I, um, I don't know what it was, but I just, I felt as though I was behaving kind of in a scummy way. I didn't like the, you know, I would, I rewatched it after I uploaded it and I, I just didn't like how I came off. And I decided just to take it down before anyone could, you know, notice it or notice like, oh, this is what Dragos looks like. Oh, I wanted to get rid of it right then and there. I do think there is something slightly dishonest about posting something on the internet, whether it be a video or a comment, and then doing everything you can to take it down when it's when you don't think it's uh, particularly flattering of you. I do think that's dishonest. It's one of the reasons I haven't taken down some of my more embarrassing comments on other what we cannot see videos in the past. You know, if people are going to watch this channel, they ought to at least know a little bit about who I am and how I talk. You know, like I said, I'm not going to talk too much about my life details on this channel, but I like the idea that people can look at the comments and say, oh, this is who this guy is, you know. So that's why I've tried not to delete my comments on other videos. But in some sense, I'm a hypocrite because I did not follow this principle with taking it on that previous update video. I just didn't like the way I behaved. I just, I don't know. I, I just thought I came off kind of douchey and, I don't know, the position of the camera. Something about the video just really, really turned me off, and I wanted it off the channel. And um, it's kind of a... At the time I was filming it, you know, I was I was going through some things in my own life, and uh, I, I don't need to expound on that, but uh, some troubles and... Uh, you know, I, I hope I'm out of that dark period in my life, but, um, you know, I'm looking forward to the future and um, working to improve myself every day and be a better person every day. And um, so if any of you noticed that I how quickly I had uploaded that video and took it down, I did want to at least acknowledge it and say that, you know, I'm not, I don't want to hide it from you guys, but I, I also would rather you not see it. So there's a contradiction there. I suppose we all embody contradictions to a degree. So I did have a little scripted paragraph here to conclude the video. So I don't see a better way to conclude this video than just reading that off. So back into scripted mode. I want to thank you all for offering some of your time to listen to me today. It means the world to know that you're still here because I am. Until next time, this has been Jackus360. I'll see you all.